Hey y'all, just got done with today's workout. We'll see if I can just even stand here. Walking over to the camera is hard today. Anyway, we got one front squat, one lateral burpee, two front squats, lateral burpee, three, blah, 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 up to 10 of each for intensity and technique. We are gonna throw a 10 minute time cap on this one. I think the fastest people of the day might be around that five minute mark. I was like the 645, something like that. I don't see people going well, yeah, I can definitely see people going a lot faster than I went. But anyway, let's talk about kind of the pitfalls. We'll talk strategies, everything about it here. So front squat should be at 40% of a max. If you're someone who is a lot stronger, but kind of uh, isn't great at the cardio yet, or that's kind of your weakness, if the lateral burpees are your weakness, then stay at that 115 number. But for some people, that 40% number is going to be above these RX weights it would be okay to go with those today as long as it's 40% and as long as you're good at burpees. Stick with these numbers even if it goes above if you're looking for more of that competition feel, giving you a workout that you can really shove the pace on. So anyway, the thing you gotta remember on workouts like these is like in the middle of round seven is about halfway through. So it's super easy to get caught up in going real fast in the beginning hitting a difficult round around five or six and just mentally losing it. So what I like to look at this, I don't like to look at it as 10 rounds, especially because look, if we just count these up, three, that's five, that's six. So this first three rounds is equivalent to round six. Uh, so if we start looking at it like that, uh, what I like to do is just kind of try and think of this as a one round workout, just one thing through. And I'm just trying to go at a consistent pace. I'm not, I'm gonna try and finish really strong, but I'm not really gonna do anything fancy here. On first rep, I'm gonna do a rep, I'm gonna put it down, take a couple breaths, do my burpee, pick it back up. So I'm not racing on these first few just because really the goal of this one is to just be consistent, consistent, consistent. If you are more of a competitor, this is one you can come out with a faster pace but I wouldn't really look to try and do your front squats faster or your burpees faster. I would just look to, in the beginning, nice and consistent, fast transitions, round five for me, and I've done workouts like this before, it's usually rounds five or six, is where it really starts to hit you what this workout's gonna feel like. But like I said, you're not even halfway there, you're not even really that close to halfway there, you're barely over a quarter of a way there when you get there. So if round five it gets hard, uh, then, you've set yourself up to have a really good next two thirds of the workout. But if you feel great on round five and on round six, you still have more than half of the workout where you can really push the pace. So not all is lost on this one. So this one, we're gonna see a lot of people come out way too hot and then they're gonna end up having to break up the burpees, break up the squats in those rounds seven, eight, nine, and 10. And it's just gonna add a ton of time for the people who can just come out consistently and either stay consistent or come out consistently and even pick up the pace starting on round six. Uh, those are gonna be the people who are gonna get the really good score. So keep that in mind, a little conservative, and then pick it up if you can or just maintain. So what did this one feel like? Like I said, round five is where the legs on the front squats really started to feel it. But I was never at this 40% number, I was never at the point of worried about being able to do a set. So really I knew going in that this was gonna be my strategy and I was doing it during, is it's just about finishing the burpees and just picking the bar up. You just gotta pick the bar up. Once you're in the set, you'll figure it out. Also from having been bent over so much on the burpees coming out of the squats, your legs are kind of blown up. So once I got the bar on me and stood up for that first rep, that was really where my legs could get a little bit of a break standing up. So you'll see at the top of the reps are really where your best resting position is because every other thing is using it during the squat uh, and then being bent over in that burpee. So your legs are just kind of getting used the whole time and really not so much when you're standing up at the top. So uh, that was something I kind of figured out halfway through is no matter how bad my legs felt, I could just get the bar on me and stand up with it. I could take a hair of a breather in between the first few reps and just kind of settle in there. So for intensity and technique, I wasn't going for time. Uh, I was really just trying to feel my feet 
stay solid. You'll probably see it in the video, but I've really been working on not getting my hamstrings involved from the floor and trying to really shove uh, with my quads through the full foot. Uh, and I think I did a much better job of that than I usually do today. Something I notice on the video, something I'm always working on is I'm a little rounded in the upper back and I'm still working on getting those shoulders back and having that nice proud chest in the front squat. So hopefully uh, we'll see some improvement over the next year on that. But in the very short term, I've really been working on my ankle flexibility. Uh, and I think you can really tell uh, that my ankles are working pretty well in the video there. So I was pretty happy with that even though. So just remember, I was trying to be perfect, not expecting to actually be perfect. Just trying to get better, better, better. But this workout is just about be consistent, unbroken. Consistent, unbroken. And you just got to get the next thing started. You just got to get the next thing started. What helped me keep track of what round I was on is I would figure out if I was on an odd or even round. So I figured out where I needed to finish. So many times when I'm doing lateral burpees, I'm supposed to do 10 and I get to what I think is eight. And then I have to stop and kind of go like this to see what side I'm supposed to finish on. So I was being real deliberate. And if it was round four, I do burpee one and I immediately think okay round four is gonna be on that side and so that helped me figure out where I was gonna finish uh, for my burpees there anyway 10 minute count make it look good this is one just start smooth take the pressure off yourself don't worry about it and then once you get to seven eight nine and ten just pick the barbell up you'll figure it out once you get it on your shoulders hang in there talk to y'all soon see ya